Hi everybody, welcome to another fish keep in Jamaica. Now I have just changed my water as I normally do and I am now maintaining a hard water stance for my pond so as to ensure my, my fish are healthy with regards to their slime coat. Now what it what is it? This is a, what I call coarse salt. I think aquarium salt is a little bit finer. So what I do, I give um, this container is about 45 gallon, right? So it is one teaspoon for every for every 10 gallon. So that's two, three, <coughs> four, and give a five. Right? So I'll do that for the rest of my containers. And this is to ensure that slime buildup maintained within my pond with regards to the fish. And it also helps them ensure that the water remains hardy and in a sense it keeps out the critters such as the frogs. I will do this each time I change the water. Now you have to be very mindful of this that um but you have to be mindful of the fact that if you're over indulging applying salt this can cause damage to the fish. Alright? And since I have actually moved the pleco from the pond with my Jack Dempsey, I am now at liberty to put some salt in that pond. So I'll be heading around here as soon as I'm finished here. I'm about 75% complete, complete in the water change for today. Uh, hopefully within the next two hours I should be finished. So that's what my days are like. That, well, that's what my Sundays are like. Right? You might be wondering, um, why is it necessary to put coarse salt in the pond, right? Because, by the way, coarse salt can be attained or you can get it at garden store. And coarse salt helps to keep up the slime, help to ensure that the fish have a slime coat. With the slime coat, what happens is that the fish is able to fight infections and disease that might come near it. Right, so I am actually providing the opportunity for the fish to be protected. It's like immunization. However, this immunization doesn't last long. As soon as I change the water, slime coat might decrease depending on the salinity, or should I say, the hardness of the water. My chromides love hard water. So what I'll do, I'll probably give them a double dose as to the pond right usually this five pound of coarse salt do me one day with the plicker out of it i don't know if it, i can manage to actually facilitate all ponds because i have to even if i don't do any other i have to do the plicker the arm bit i have to do the that MC pond. I've never done them before. Aye. So, and it seems as if, since I've actually, since I've actually taken the plecker from the pond, I've actually seen where in which, I've actually seen where in which the Jack Dempsey's are more free swimming within the pond, which caused me to wonder whether or not the plecker was actually inhibiting the swimming of the Jack Dempsey's in which I have. Nevertheless, I this is something that I never intended to do. I never intended to actually move the plecos because I saw it had a lot of work. I mean that I had the project this week to do in which you have actually seen already. I had, I had said that I was not going to be doing it. Right? You cannot use 
the salt you need to use in your kitchen to, to add to your fish aquarium right reason for this is that these salt this salt in which I have is like natural salt right the one that you have in your kitchen the salt that you have in your kitchen have a lot of chemicals in it right it's processed salt so some of those chemicals are just not good for your fish and I will leave the rest for my I will leave the rest for my car and my goldfish thank you very much for making a fish keep in jamaica i hope that this video was informative join me next time as i explore fish keeping in jamaica bye bye cool.